Okay, start over again. Okay, so basically, this truck, oh my gosh, this truck is nice. Um, it tells you how many passengers are in the car. So, you know, with the, I guess it's a safety situation with the kids. You know how people accidentally leave their kids in the car. Um, it shows you a full screen of the truck. Um, you have touchscreen navigation. You just have a whole touchscreen period. Um, you got this whole um, pad for media. Um, oh my gosh. So you got heated seats, heated and cool seats for the front and the back. And you got your touch touches all over. All righty, guys. There's a plate on there. Go drive it and enjoy. Okay, Blake. Thank we'll you so much. We'll see you guys so soon, much. okay? Okay, thank you enjoy. so Take much. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So guys, this is kind of, I'm not going to say this is what happens when you buy cars, but um, sometimes when you build a rapport with people, um, you know, it's very important to to have a good rapport with people. It's very important to show respect to people because you never know who you're going to need one day. And the fact that these people are just like trusting me with this expensive vehicle because oh. I was curious about it. Why you got what that in my of, mouth? I, I was going to point it at the steering wheel. Tell them what kind of car it is. Okay, so this is a Range Rover. Um, it's, I guess it's the top of the line. The guy who owned the Range Rover, he was a big to-do in Chicago. And um, he was a big to-do in Chicago. And he had actually two. And he traded them in for BMW 8s. Yeah, the guy said he never drove them. He was driven he, in them. Yeah, he never dr actually physically drove the vehicle. He was uh, driven around. So, guys, as you can see, I am putting it in drive. There is no shift gear. And when I put it, when I started putting it in drive, my mirrors automatically set to pretty much where I needed them to set. I didn't even set the mirrors, but they, um, they have started to set themselves. So, like I said, this is a... A Range Rover. It's a 2018 Range Rover. It's a very nice vehicle. I like how high I'm sitting up in this vehicle. Um, it's it's really long. Like I drive long, a long big vehicle every day, but this feels like you know really long. I I have a truck right now that I drive. I was just showing the screen on the dash. No, that's okay. I have a truck right now that I drive. It's a Mazda CX-9. And of course, the it's a 2017 Mazda CX-9. It does have a third row seat. But for some reason, it's so this truck is so luxurious. The the it doesn't have a third row seat. However, the back, <laughs> the the passenger seats, the room in this vehicle is amazing. Um, it's truly amazing. And I see why people really like these cars i mean this is truly a luxury car it's it's definitely a luxury vehicle so yeah so we are test driving the 2018 um range rover i don't know what else to say about it except like i guess uh, i did mention that the the rear seats are heated and cool um on the door panels you got on the door panels you got controls so in the rear the passengers can actually mute the radio if necessary if they need to say something they can mute the the radio on the door panels they can also open the top screen which i will try to figure out how to do it so let me let me see yep um this is uh the top screen and of course there's a range rover right in front of us every time i test drive a vehicle i see i see a vehicle like the one i'm test driving it's weird but anyway so yeah so they control the screen in the back. They can also um, mute the radio. Um, the, the privacy screens back there has a push button as well on the door. I had those same screens in my BMW, but they were manual. They weren't. They weren't automatic. But this kind of give the whole like sunroof deal kind of gives me like my Audi vibes because well, you know, I'm pretty sure everybody copies off everybody. So the sunroof up top was kind of like my Audi, you know, it had the full, you know, full screen. What was you about to say, babe? Well, the one in front of us is a sport. It's actually smaller than the one we're in. This is the, the long wheelbase we're in right now. Yeah. So this is the long base one. Um, this vehicle, I could say is pretty pricey. I, like I said, um, if I mentioned this, I wanted a discovery 
that was like the car, the, the vehicle that I really wanted. I wanted a discovery. And I, I try to take time out to actually research vehicles before I purchase them. I learned to do that. You in everything you do, whatever you purchase, make sure you do the research. Make sure that that's something that you want. Make sure that, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's not about needs. It's, it's about wants. But make sure you uh, purchase what you want to purchase. I, I would think it would be kind of foolish of me to purchase this vehicle. You know, it would be foolish um, with my income status or whatever. But I just wanted to test drive this this vehicle and just, you know, get a feel of it and see if, you know, this is something that I could possibly want in the near future. You know, if I work toward it, save my money and, uh, you know, work hard and maybe I could possibly afford this one day i'm not of course definitely not going to put myself in a situation to where i uh put myself in a financial strain trying to get a vehicle but um i'm just living my life trying to live my life like it's golden now down here is the media so i don't own the rest of this music so i'm just gonna turn this off right now because i don't want this copy written or whatever baby you know how to turn it back off Okay, well, he found it. So, yeah, so you got the navigation, you got the media, you got the phone up there, and it is a touch screen. But like I said, this this it, this truck rides pretty good. It's really nice. It's two years old. Um, let me see if I can see how many miles on it, which I don't even know how many miles on it. Babe, do you see? I think it's 30,229. 30,000. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. He can see it. I couldn't see it. Um, this is a supercharge. I'm sure the gas is premium, which that's going to be an issue. And I'm sure the insurance is going to be very expensive on this thing. But for those of you who have Range Rovers, I mean, if that's what you want, good. Um, consider yourself blessed because this is just a vehicle. This is a material object. Um, and so... Yeah, some people can do it and some people can't. For, and for those who can't, like I am not, um, I don't feel bad about it. You know, I really don't feel bad about it. But I, you know, I just, I just, I like this thing. Do you have anything to say, babe? Yeah, this seat feels good. <laughs> yeah, it does. I got mine set at 67 degrees. Well, I just turned it down from 70. Yeah, this is a, this is one nice ride. Yeah. So, do you think I get stopped by the cops in this Range Rover? Uh, it depends on how fast you're going. Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna see, guys. We're gonna we're gonna see. I'm not what, gonna put the speedometer on the. What this big truck can do. So let's let's check this out because, like I said, y'all, this it's an unusual big. It's it's pretty big now. Um, it's it's only a two seater, you know. Well, well not no, it's not a, a two seater, but you you saying it doesn't have a third row? It doesn't have a third row. That's what I meant to say. I didn't mean a two seater because because sports cars are two seaters, but it doesn't have a third row. That's what I meant to say. Oh uh, yeah, are you sure it doesn't have a third row? I don't. I don't. It think doesn't it look does. like it. We hadn't actually looked. Well, you know, it may, but I don't. He didn't mention. Yeah, um, he didn't mention. I a think third. he would have mentioned it if we did. Yeah, we that, but that's that. that's what I'm thinking. Like he probably would have mentioned it, but but yeah. So y'all, I'm telling you though, honestly, honestly though, you know, I I've kind of looked at Dave Ramsey stuff, and I get where he's coming from because Dave Ramsey is a he's a millionaire, and he can afford this truck if he wanted it. Um, this is of course a used truck, but it's like you know financially why would somebody do this but y'all yeah. honestly huh you hear that you hear that exhaust kicking in yeah but honestly if i could afford this truck i would i would get this truck i'm not even lying um i would actually buy this truck if i could afford it so yeah i'm mean, that's my honest opinion i really like this truck i like how they got the navigation on the screen right in front of you yeah can let me try to get the phone over there yeah it's over here yep that's real nice. Yep, it all it, like I said, it has a picture of the truck which you just shown. It has heads up display. Um, you got all of your controls on the steering wheel. The steering wheel is pretty nice. It's a nice soft leather. I think this is leather, I'm not really sure, but let me 
let me kind of control my speed because we're actually in a construction zone. Mm. But once we get out of construction zone, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if he can do what he do. I'm gonna make it do what he do. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna make it do what he do, and I'm gonna let y'all know. So I'm doing this safely. I'm not. Yes. I'm not being um, reckless with it. Professional driver. Yes. Yes. Um, do not try this at home. No, do not try this at home. So, as soon as we get out of, <laughs> you so silly. As soon as we get out of the construction zone, and we gonna make it do what it do. But y'all, I'm telling you, the seats feel so good. Like they feel so sturdy. Um, I'm a I'm a big woman, and these seats feel absolutely sturdy. Um, the wheel is stable; it's not shaking. I don't know the the details of like the whole chassis and all that other stuff. You you know how people you know how people. Um, talk about the chassis and and all of that other stuff like oh you know the chassis is long and it's you know it has whatever horsepower i don't know all of the like the detail details but i can just tell you that this is a very sturdy ride so if you take this on a road to on a road trip or something you will be fully you will be fully comfortable i should say you will be satisfied because the, the ride is worth it and y'all I'm glad I didn't like put the pedal to the metal because like I said we all have to adhere to the laws and like I said this is a this is a construction zone but I'm glad that I was adhering to the rules of the road because there was a state trooper sitting on the side of the road the last did, thing I need is a ticket did you mention that the steering wheel was heated I just noticed this button. no you know what I didn't know that but y'all I just pushed the steering wheel so this is the heated steering wheel so I just pushed that and I did not know that the steering wheel was heated y'all yeah, I did important. not know that so that is very important we got a heated steering wheel um LIM I don't know what that is it looks like maybe it controls the speed mm. um yeah limit li limit yeah I think it's a limiter Okay. Tell her in the comments what y'all think. And y'all would, I would like try to, you know, I, well, I'm not gonna hook my, I was, I wasn't gonna hook my phone up, but it would be cool, like call my cousin, say, girl, I guess what I'm test driving a Range Rover, you know. But I'm not gonna do all that. But you know, it's like something different. So, oh, and the, the steering wheel feels good. It feel, it got heated pretty quick, so it feels really good. It feels really good. So. Yeah, okay. I, I really, you know what? Mazdas are good cars and whatnot. But um, I really, I really like this. I really like this. This is different. I don't know what all this stuff is. You know, I'm rubbing on that stuff. Why don't you play with some of the buttons so we can try to see what, can you do it while you're recording or you can't? Well, I don't know if this stuff you have to do while you're driving. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, that makes sense. This is like, I think that's, that controls the, the descent. And uh, this, I don't know what this does. I don't know what this is. It's a parking button. Oh, yeah, don't hit that. And this, this is how you turn the traction control off. This button doesn't say anything. It's probably a feature that this vehicle doesn't have. Um, and here's a frost, rear defrost, fan speed. different modes you can put the vehicle in. I don't know if you can do that while you're driving or not. I wouldn't suggest it. You know. Oh, uh, this is auto start stop. You can turn it off. Uh, a lot Why of vehicles. Did you see that? Well, see, auto start stop, that only matters. Oh, like, it's and just it just, stopped. okay, oh, okay, it just if, went if up you on come the screen. To a, come to a stoplight and you take your foot off the brakes, the engine shuts off. Oh, okay, okay. You know, because I just saw it come up on the screen, but y'all, yeah. okay, so right now I'm doing 75, right? Oh, okay. So, well, I was doing 75, but I'm telling you. That and it feels smooth. The, it's, yeah. It feels absolutely smooth. Absolutely smooth. There was no jerking or anything like that. Um, so, beware. If you get a vehicle like this, you will get a ticket. If Especially if you have a lead foot. Because the, the transition was so darn smooth, it's ridiculous. So I'm gonna get off the highway 
and I'm gonna start heading back because if not, I would keep this vehicle and maybe go out of town. But I'm, you know, I'm not gonna do that. Of course, this is not my vehicle. So yeah, I, I really I can't say anything else about it because, like I said, this may be a a weird video because I'm just an amateur. I really don't know um, the the like full details, the the parts, and the you know all the technical terms for this vehicle. But I know I have bought a lot of vehicles. And this by far, I like this vehicle. And I wonder if I can talk them down. No, let me stop. <laughs> so, yeah. So, if I, yeah, this would be the most, you know, no. So, yeah. So, guys, I really thank you all for watching this video. Um, if y'all know where I can get a cheap Range Rover, and let me, let, let me know. Let us just know. Um, oh, you know what? I'm feeling the back of the steering wheel. I didn't realize that I had the yeah. paddles paddle back shift. here. I love the paddle shift. Um, and so, yeah. But we're in construction again, so I'm not going to floor it. But, yeah. I, oh, man. I really like this truck. I really like it. So, hey, if somebody out there, you want to buy me the truck, hey, that would work too. Okay? But... <laughs> said no but anyway yeah this is a pretty decent vehicle this is a pretty decent vehicle and i'm i'm grateful that i got the opportunity to test drive the vehicle and um i can say hey i test drove a range rover so yeah pretty cool so thank you guys for watching this video and and of course it's on my husband's channel i love my husband so you guys support i still be on her on your channel well, we don't know, y'all, because we don't really do videos. But, well, he don't, you know. But anyway. I'm going to edit this part out. <laughs> okay. Anywho, y'all have a fantastically blessed day today. And remember to live your life. Live your life to the fullest. Live your life, but live it right. And uh, if anything, please forgive one another, love one another. And whatever you do, find something good about your day to be happy about. Love y'all.